In this video, I am going to discuss about the select function. Uh, all the DPAP packages functions works on the same format. The first argument would be the data frame, that is your data, and the second argument would be what to do to that data frame. So, uh, in all the cases, it will return a data frame. So, before working on select function make sure your dplyr package is installed if it is not installed please install it if if it is already installed then call it using the library function once it is there in your environment we can get we can uh, start with the select function example we are going to use the empty cars data set over here so to discuss uh, on the empty cars, oh, I'll quickly show you how, uh, if you do not know, how empty cars data set looks like. It's a with it's an inbuilt R data set. So yeah, if you just uh, so head function will populate the few uh, rows from the empty cars data set. So it, it has the details of all the cars. So I'm going to select from the empty cars I only want mpg cl or car so what it does is from the empty cars data set so whatever column you want to retain within a data set the select function will help you do that so in this case from the empty car empty cars data set only mpg cylinder and car will be populated See, only MPG cell and carb will be cylinder and the carb will be populated. Another example, you can also call index wise. Say I only want to populate 1, 2, 3, the first 3 column and the 5th column, the draft column. So in this case, what can I do is the same thing, select empty cars. I can get the index number that go from 1 to 3 and give me the fifth column as well. See, the first three column plus the fifth column got populated. You can also choose to store the, the output in an object. Say, I would like to store it in an XYZ object. So, another data set will be created with the name XYZ. If you don't want to call it by the index name, you can also give column name. Say I want to populate everything from MPG till weight. Oh, sorry. So in this case, if you see all the columns from MPG till weight got populated. Another example. In select empty cars data set, if I do minus mpg and minus weight, so in this case all the columns will be populated except mpg and weight. So the minus denotes that. See, all the columns got populated except mpg and the weight column. Apart from this, the select function also comes with additional supporting function. You know. So, suppose I want to see fetch all the columns that say starts with D. So, all the column having the column name that starts with D will get populated. See, in this case, only two columns were there. This and drag got populated from the empty cast data set. This is helpful when you do not know the exact name. Also, we have one more feature. Say one of MPG and drag. So this works as the either or in this case, wherein either MPG or drag will be populated or both will be populated. You know, if one then is not you know there in your data set.
if you're not very sure which one is present, which one is not present. In that case, it is very helpful. And the last example, select empty cars contains A. So this is this will populate all the column having column names that contain A. But now I'm giving a capital A in this. So it can be small A or capital A. In that case, we have one more helpful argument called ignore dot case equal to true. So this will take care of capital of capital on both. So anything which has capital A or capital, uh, you know, caps off caps on both will be populated in this case. So these are the list of the additional supporting functions from the select function. I have already discussed starts with contains and one off. You can also, you know, try uh, other functions. Please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to discuss the rest of the functions as well. Um, thank you.